right, I'm ready. It's time to drop a shell on them. Yo, it's your boy, the East Road. You already know what it is. I'm in the studio. Now I'm here chilling with my boy right here. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. You already know what time it is, man. Shout out to MC War. MC War, what up? Gonna ask some quick questions. So, um, what got you into making beats? Um, you know, my pops is a DJ, grandfather was a DJ. I have, nice. I have, I have family that's that's in the industry on the reggae side. Um, you know, then I heard a Timberland record, Up Jumps the Boogie, that kind of kick started off, you know, but I was a drummer in church and all that good stuff as a kid, so, you know, just to, you know. That's dope. What's up? You know what I mean? It was good. Give you a little, little click with what I was just doing earlier. You know, I just took a, a really Jackson sample. So people don't even do that no more. Though. It's just click, 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 and that's it. This producers, us producers that still work. You know what I'm saying? We actually do work. You know, I definitely do sample. I do original too, because you know, originals that's where the money's at. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you prefer sampling over playing music? How about vice versa? I mean, I can't even say that because I like doing both. You know what I'm saying? Because you're creative in both aspects. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really does this anymore, but it's still creative in itself. You know what I'm saying? Because when people do do it, it's they still appreciate. You know what I'm saying? Um, the original music it just forced you to be creative. You know what I'm saying? So. I can't say either or. I, I I do like both, so I, I won't pick either or. Yeah, I just come from the sampling background. That's all I used to know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was a drummer and all that good stuff, but sampling was what kind of hooked me. You know what I'm saying? You know, and Just Blaze being one of my biggest, biggest, you know. Just Blaze. Yeah, you know I mean, Just Blaze. Shout out to Just Blaze, Diddy Red, Malone. I see. You know what I mean? So you know, can't can't complain. Just Blaze, my dude Kanaf Finch. Um, you know, anybody that's dope. Anybody that's dope and it's not it's like, that's completely different. Because if you different, that means I could jack you somehow. I could jack your style a little bit and adapt it and just say, all right, next. Like a ninja. You know what I mean? I, you know, ninjas, all they do is go to other people's stuff and just learn their stuff and then make it theirs. So. So what got you into making beats? Like I said, you know, it's really, it really, like I said, you see my father DJ, like I said before, and, you know, listen to Tim a lot, and then Just Blaze made it even more, because, you know, he took sample, it, took what Primo and Pink Rock did, and put it on steroids, in my opinion, so, you know, I just try, I try to at least keep that art alive. You know what I'm saying? If I can keep that, that, that at least the sampling part of it alive, then I'm good. But um, you know, I got people say I got that G-Unit sound, people say I got that New York sound. Even what the trap music I made is not even really trap so to speak. So I like to keep it that way. Yeah, it's more like New York. So yeah, just New York, but you know, overall just trying to make sure, you know. Hmm, I just wanna make sure that everybody gets back to that creative play. Yo, dude, you had to be nice. It was corny to sound like somebody else. Sure, sure. Well, 
as far as traditional, as far as the roots of hip hop, definitely re- it's, it's done, in my opinion. Like it has it, everything, everything is, is trap. Like I said, I got nothing wrong against trap, but when everything sounds the same repeatedly, it's a problem. And you know, we come, I come, like I said, I come from an era where everything was just still cool. Even the South records back then, they still had their own sound, but it wasn't a dominant thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just want to, you know, I just, I don't even want to say I want to bring back hip hop. I want to actually bring a familiar sound with a new twist. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't want to bring something that was done already. You want to do something. You want to take the foundation that was made and then make it new. You know what I'm saying? So chopping and all that stuff, you don't do that. Anymore. You know, and even with the trap music, I, 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 I'll even, I'm probably going to end up chopping a sample. Like I could play something with, with a freaking sample in it. So like, if I wanted to, just to give you an example, right? We have uh, South records that, that are like considered trap just because of the drum patterns and all that. So now I'm gonna play a record, right? All right. I'll play a beat. It's gonna appear to be trap, but it's really not trap. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it's a sample like that too. I won't tell you the sample because y'all producers know I'm Jack. <laughs> Smart man. <laughs> I put work into even chopping the sample itself. You know what I'm saying? Took this part, this part, and then put it together. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even with trap music, you just still gotta still make it different. Where it's like, all right, it's not traditional trap. It's not like sounds like everybody else because even my beats don't really sound like anybody else like that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And of course, you come, you know, as an MC yourself, you already know. Like when you hear different beats, like oh snap, that's you know this and that's that. Exactly. The whole idea starts flowing to your head. What, what fits what, you know? Exactly. Stuff like that. So, you know. So, what um all the equipments do you use, though? I mean, you know, I you know, got my 1000. I'm, I'm an MPC guy. I love the MP. I mean, I use Logic. I use Reason. I mean, I haven't touched Fruit Loops in like three years. <laughs> um, But, I mean, I, I dabbled in it. You know, I haven't dabbled in it in a while, but I've made some pretty decent hits with Fruit Loops. But, I mean, I could pretty much use almost anything at this point. Side, I'm saying what very know what it is, man. South side, my name is very um, Yo, I say, I get attention everywhere. Cause what I do, man, be all up in the mix like pancake butter. You in the slum without a pot to pissin'. Me on the other hand, got missions to shit in. I could do that, but you can't do that. I was born to go get it, wherever it's at. I got the bell in the back, here comes the pop fly. It's hard to see me like the sun in your eye. I shine like Jasper, so go ahead and try me. And get put through the wall like Casper. Or a orangutan bullet, but it don't monkey around. Leave you on a liquid diet, losing a lot of pounds. Easy. Mm. You know what it is. This man, like something like, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. We, we, we work. Going crazy, private school, right? <laughs> Every morning, gotta wake up, gotta play drums before we go to class. Mm. And Sunday, gotta go to play drums again, choir rehearsal. Yeah, you know, I love, I love, I love all the people over there too. You know, they really kept me out of trouble and all that good stuff. And they That's kept good. Me focused for music. So. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So. And where do um for the world to know where can they reach you or purchase your beats or anything like that? Um, you know, they can find me on SoundCloud. They can find me on Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. Uh, just new old kid, N E W O T H A K I D. Um, when you just put, you know, 
that together and then you know facebook that slash that or twitter slash that or tumblr attach that i don't even know what tumblr is i, I stand at the 25th okay Webster Hall. Yeah. um you know i was supposed to do the battle for mc war but you know with keith murray and stuff and you know i don't know what's going on with other producers i hope they're not scared <laughs> You know, we like to, we got to make the beat on the spot. Three minutes, guys. Three minutes. <laughs> you know, what I was just doing here was just messing around. We got to make the beat on the spot in three minutes. And, you know, I did it in Jersey. You know, remember that? Yes, sir. I remember. And, you know, it, that was fun. That was fun. Everybody enjoyed themselves. Yeah, you know, yeah. What's going on, man? It's your boy, New the Kid. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to MC War. You know, y'all can find me on my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. New the Kid. N-E-W-O-T-H-A-K-I-D. Want to give a shout out to... G Stroke, D, Nina Crease, my team, Joel, Tone YG, AD the General, just won the showcase last night. Perfect score, Ooh. 120. That was dope. Shout out to Elegant Hoodness, you know what I mean? They definitely give artists a good look. Shout out to Joel OT, he was there last night. Um, Matt Hoffa, that's my dude too. Um, you know, Cuz Joe Colombo, just mad, everybody, man. Just in case I don't get to y'all, don't get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. It's a long list of people that I definitely owe. Oh, Mr. Works. You know, Music Works. Um, you know, Christos. You know, just everybody, man, that's just supporting the movement. You know, Mad Man, Brooklyn Stick Up, my Sean Proof team. You know what I'm saying? Producers on the rise. It's gonna be dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>